Welcome to the Pilgrim's Project. Hey people, it's the Pilgrim and I've got a new base design. It's a gun shop and a shooting range. The gun shop's built on a circle base and I've sort of figured out a new way of building them. It's a bit less on materials and stuff like that and it takes a lot of the guesswork out of like lining all the fence foundations and things up. Just using the triangles um, from the new homestead stuff as like the start of it. So we'll jump right into it. First thing you want to do, just build a hexagon out of six triangle foundations. And then take a triangle wooden ceiling, place it over one of the triangle foundations. Once you've done that, you want to get a square normal ceiling and snap it to the triangle ceiling. Then remove the triangle ceiling and snap another normal square one to it. And you get that line right above where the triangle foundations meet underneath. If you try and use just the triangle ceilings above the foundations, um, sometimes the what do you call it, the fence foundations will fall through the gaps or they won't snap in the right place. Um, some of them just won't snap together at all. I found that with the square ceilings, you, you can get it like dead center every time and it will snap in place. Same with just using triangle foundations. If you try and put the fence foundations straight on them there's actually gaps where the, if you think like there's a, a halfway line, so you've got like three lots of triangles meeting, um, the foundations will go straight through the gap and it'll, it's just really frustrating. So yeah, just carry on around doing that. Put down your triangle ceiling, snap the square ceiling to it, remove it, another square ceiling, and you can get your foundation dead centre. Keep, uh, keep them all at the right height as well. I've also found it's easier just to move your character and the camera around a bit to get the fence foundation to snap in the right point, you know, instead of pressing Q. It just seems to work a lot better. This one kept jumping to the right for some reason. In the end I just left one where it was because sometimes that helps if it's jumping out of place. Uh, put one next to it and just press Q so it jumps into the right snap point. Right, what you want to do now is go around, snap a, another normal square ceiling, wooden one to the foundation, and then put three fence foundations in between each one you've laid. I'm using metal because it's really straight and it's got proper sharp edges and it's just a lot better than using stone or anything like that. Let's see what you're doing all with the different materials. Right, and now you've got 24 metal fence foundations down. And they are just spot on perfect. Like I said, it's took a lot of the guesswork out of it and cut down on the materials a little bit. Now you just want to go around and get some wooden pillars and every second foundation snap a wooden pillar to it. They won't go right next to each other um, because I haven't got no clip you know turned off or anything like that. I've done this on like official settings so you leave a gap then you just want to place three pillars on each one so you've got the one on the edge and then two out. I'm just going to remove this, well, these two. Put one dead centre of these just to show you. I'll just put the square ceilings down just to show how close they come. And like when you look at it now, you've got that nice perfect curve. You snap walls to it. Um, I use wooden walls on the build. So I'll just put them there and press D to flip them and they just sort of just go into each other and it's still got like a really nice curve to it so yeah it worked so now what you want to do is every single pillar you've placed just place another two in front of it depending on what sort of ground you get you know should be pretty easy there's a big drop off on this side so what I did is um, basically if you've got 
the wooden pillars below the ceiling they don't have to be touching most people know that so it'll still provide support you can snap the pillars right next to each other and as you do that the pillar drops slightly each time you know the closer they are some of the places drop off too much to do that even so i just put the ceilings out snapped a pillar into it and ran them down into the ground so yeah they won't be perfect on level so that is just like a slight drop so when you actually come to place your ceilings you want to start from the middle where the ones around the metal fence foundations because they're all like the exact same height So if you can be bothered, you know, messing about, as long as you've got the right amount of space to put the hexagon down at the beginning, um, you can be on any sort of ground really, and still be able to build the thing. Yeah, some of the snap points aren't great, just got to mess around with it a little bit, and get it into the ground. Yeah, so carry on round doing that so you've got all them set. And then you're going to, in between each pillar that you placed before, just break all the pillars down and then put one in between each gap. Right, that's done. Now you just want to run another two pillars out to the edge. All the way around. It's just the same deal as last time if the ground drops off anywhere. Uh, just use the thatch ceilings just to save on materials and run some pillars down from wherever you need to into the ground. These can be a bit awkward. So you just got to press QR, move, move yourself around a little bit till you find the snap point. I found going in between the pillars helps sometimes, snapping it in from that angle. There you go, you got that one into the ground. You can remove like both, well, the top two pillars if you want to. Like I said, you, you only need it to be underneath the ceiling to, you know, to give the support. And then on this one you can see like where the pillar goes in. The ground didn't slope too far so you can snap them next to each other like that so you don't have to mess about with the ceilings. It only works in two places though. There you go, that's the full lot of foundations you need. Like I said we're going to work out from the centre with the ceilings so every other set of pillars doesn't need to be touching anything it's just there for support now because you're on the slope ground I wanted to make sure that it was, you know, the, the walls were like, you know, level with the floor, um, so you had no gaps underneath it. And basically, using a, a trick that I saw Captain Fat Dog using a while ago. I'll put a link to his channel in the description as well. He's like the original creator of all this circle stuff. So, what I did was put the thatch ceilings down on the pillars around the outside and then grab your stone fence foundation if you go right to the edge there it'll, it'll snap to the floor and it's actually a, a snap point below the ceiling 
Um, so if you get it close and then press Q, it'll jump into place. And then you can use them fence foundations later to snap walls to. Um, and then you won't have any gaps around the outside. And you can use that. It doesn't really matter how bad the drop off is. A little awkward to see the higher up you are. But if you get to the corner and just, I use crouch. Um, and then I could see what I was doing properly. Also figured out about here that if you go in third person it's even easier. Yes, yeah, so you're just going to want to do that right the way around. circles the whole base now. And then what you want to do is replace all that thatch with stone ceilings. Now you're on for the last bit, you just need to get all your stone walls in around the whole bottom of the bay. If you snap the bottom wall first, the one hanging off the ceiling won't snap properly. So you're best placing the ceilings first and then the other ones will just slot in behind them. Even though they're in exactly the same place, they seem to snap that way around for some reason. There you go, just like that. And then just follow that pattern all the way around. There you go, and that is the base for the gun shop that I built. So what I'll do is I'll do another build video for the gun shop and I'll probably do a separate one for the shooting range as well. But I thought I'd do this as like a separate video and just do it as like a tips and tricks video or something like that. Just to show you how to build it. And there we go, absolutely perfect 24 sided circle. Right, as always, thank you for liking, subscribing, sharing the videos around, just helping us grow the channel, really cool. And what else? Uh, yeah, if you've got any questions about the build, just leave us a comment and I'll get back to you. Uh, I'll do a bit of a materials list for it, I'll put it in the description and I'll put it in the comments as well. Yeah, thanks for watching, I'll catch you later.